Yeah, sure. Uh, the talk I'm giving at the World Orphan Drug Congress is really how to leverage a technology platform uh, in the era of uh, genetic medicine uh, and applying that to rare disease populations. Uh, we think our technology platform is really at the cutting edge of the understanding of the genetic basis of disease. And our technology works at the genetic level inside the nucleus to, in the case of DMD, repair mutations that exist in the dystrophin gene. And we're able to repair that. The thing about Duchenne is it's highly fragmented. So to treat all of the patients that are amenable to our technology just in that disease alone would require more than 25 drugs to treat every boy who could benefit uh, from our, our technology. That requires a different approach from a drug development standpoint, from a regulatory standpoint. The good news is that I think a lot of the regulators are understanding that technologies like this really need a different approach um, to drug development and, and approvals of drugs. They understand that the feasibility of doing traditional efficacy and safety studies in mutations that are very rare, where there may just be a handful of patients around the globe and are infeasible to doing your traditional you know, safety and efficacy studies. So what we're doing is we're focusing on the most prevalent set of mutations to do clinical trials in the hopes that if we produce enough evidence on the first few drugs uh, using the same technology, standard dose, uh, the same manufacturing, that that could be applied to much rarer uh, uh, you know, mutations uh, and uh, populations that are not as prevalent. Uh, and we, we think there's a pathway to get uh, regulators to understand this and actually take uh, uh, you know, some of the existing data that we collect in clinical trials and apply that to the rare uh, mutations.